What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Oe, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the season premiere of the new Disney plus Marvel series, Moon Knight. I don't know much about Moon Knight other than he's a more crazier, violent, supernatural version of Batman. And plus he looks pretty cool. I like the way he looks a lot. Moon Knight has a lot to go for because the future slate of MCU shows on Disney Plus is not looking too good. Uh, the trailer for Miss Marvel looks like complete and utter dog shit, and I'm hearing some pretty negative things behind the scenes of She Hulk, which is supposed to be come out after that, which I don't give a damn about that show either. So I was really hoping that Moon Knight is going to deliver, and for the most part, in this season premiere, I thought it did. I thought it did. I'm not going to spoil too much, but I enjoyed the first episode of Moon Knight. Mainly because Oscar Isaac's portrayal and performance was so damn entertaining, man. He's such a great actor. He's got a lot of range. And he's going to be able to show it in this show because he's going to be playing multiple personalities. So I can't wait to see more of <laughs> the characters and personalities he's going to portray in this movie. Because his first character, Steven, who we mostly follow in this episode, he's kind of like a lonely, awkward um, museum employee. I liked his character a lot. He was pretty damn funny and endearing. And uh, yeah, I liked his character and we get little glimpses of his other personalities. So that's gonna be pretty cool to follow. And the story so far is, it's kind of like the audience has just dropped into a middle of a story that we have no idea what's going on. We just get to go into the scent of madness that's happening in this character's mind. So I enjoyed the story even though I have no idea what the hell is going on other than it's gonna have to do with Egyptian mythology and lore, which is always interesting to me. I feel like cinema doesn't delve too deep into Egyptian mythology as much as I'd like to. Like, I'm currently playing Assassin's Creed Origins, and man, Egyptian mythology is awesome. I love it. So yeah, I'm, I can't wait to see the more, or, you know, just get at the story of what the hell the Moon Knight is and how he's able to get these powers, which we don't get to see much of his powers until the very end, where we get a total glimpse of him in full costume as the Moon Knight, which he looks completely badass. But we do get to see, uh, like, action scenes with him just snapping in and out of consciousness as, you know, dead bodies are on the floor. He's not knowing what the hell's going on. He's, uh, you know, world traveling, not knowing how he gets there. So the action scenes are pretty creative. Uh, one nitpick I had in the action scenes is that during a car chase scene in Germany or something, there's like a George Michael pop song playing in the background the whole time. Like Marvel always does this. They do put like a little cute funny song in the beginning and then, you know, they just let it play out, which I wish Hans Zimmer would do a musical score for an MCU movie. I feel like that would be a total game changer. You know, I just hope for more serious and more mature themed fight uh, choreography or whatever during the show. I hope they go that route. But Moon Knight, from what I've researched so far, is a pretty violent character. He's pretty ruthless, so I want to see more of that put on screen. I don't want them to water it down. I want Moon Knight to be a complete badass that criminals and evilness will be scared of. So I hope they don't shy away too much of the violence. But uh, yeah, I thought the action scenes were okay. They didn't have a lot of it in this episode, but it was enough to satisfy me. So yeah, I guess that would be my only nitpick was the that part, that car chase scene. Other than that, the episode was pretty damn interesting. And Ethan Hawke as a villain, I can't really judge him too much. There's not enough of him. Uh, but he seemed pretty intimidating. But uh, yeah, I like everything so far. The story, the action, I hope it gets better. And Oscar Isaacs, man, he's, he's the main reason to check out Moon Knight because he's so damn entertaining. But uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on Moon Knight so far. I'm not going to give it a review. I feel like I can't review it yet after one episode. I'd give that episode, though, I'd give it like a solid like 8 out of 10, I guess. All right, guys, so that's the video. If you liked it, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you all next time. See ya.